Okay, so now we need to do another of those um, because we're in the Tim Holtz um, texture fade album. I have, I need to, so its measurements were two inches high by four inches across and for timing's sake I'm just going to fold that one in half to get my centerpiece. Fold those top those top corner pieces down like that. Okay. And that's a bit crooked. a bit better. We can cut that off later. Okay, now I need my insert piece triangle. Draw the line. Now we're in a bit closer to the line there. Now I have to ink the edges. Just inking the edges of the triangle insert there. And inking the hypotenuse and the sides. <coughs> now normally you would um, heat set that ink because glue doesn't um, tend to stick too well to um, wet ink. Okay, so now we're going to apl apply the liquid adhesive to the smaller triangles. And then... Design a paper down, line up the triangle, and fold over your small triangles. Okay, so there's your second one done. Now, that's a little skew with there, so just to clean that up, just get your knife, uh, sorry, your ruler, and your craft knife and tidy that up. Okay, so now we have the two triangles that we need and we need to position them on the page. Um, and the page sizes I used um, for my Tim Holtz album was six and a half inches wide by seven and three quarter inches high. Okay, and then we know that we need to have these um, a quarter inch bigger than the texture fades which were um, four and a half inches and so this is four and three quarter inches across here. So I don't think I really uh, measured too well here. That looks about right and so we know how much space in there that we have to glue it on and um, I'd use tacky glue for that only because it's quick and dries fairly easy it dries quickly sorry and it's very tacky so just putting some glue on the um, inside of the left hand corner pocket making sure you've got your split sides down and then just insert that in there and you can do a quick measurement might be a bit too close bring that out a bit and now we need to make sure that it's straight or as straight as you can have it so put that in the corner like 
that pretty much okay right now that glue is going to adhere everything together so what I do is I just get my bone folder and stick it in there and just try and um, wait till that glue um, starts to take hold um, you can even at this stage clean up that adhesive inside and that looks about right so I'll come back when that dries and we'll um, continue on okay back again now we're going to adhere once this is dry we're going to adhere that to um, the page and again a liquid glue And then just position that about an eighth of an inch from the right and bottom edges of your page. Okay. Get your bone folder just run that along the bottom edge to make sure that it sits nice okay right the next step um, what I did was I cut out these that came with the packaging of the texture fades and just adhered it so that the um, texture fades don't when, when you're inserting them don't catch on that bottom section of the photo corner so just cut a piece to size um, and you can use um, liquid glue for this as well this is quick okay all right so now it doesn't matter really how far you go down I think um, I've put mine at different um, heights in the book anyway um, but as long as it goes down far enough to help the inserting of the texture fade and even it up between both um, sides there okay So that's it, that's what it is, and we just insert that in there, and that, up, oh, not quite dry, insert that in there like that. So really you should make sure that your um, photo corners are completely dry before trying to insert your um, texture fades. But that's it, so I hope that's um, helpful to you, Chapman Griffith, and anyone else um, who wanted to know. Um, that's just the way I do it. It's by no means um, the best way. I don't know, it just works for me. 